149 airport control towers all across the country, including eight here in Wisconsin, are going to stay open just a little longer than we thought. The FAA is going to delay things a little bit until June. Fox 6's Myra Santrick is actually live at one of the airports that was targeted to him with a story. Right last month, the FAA announced that it would close air traffic control towers like this one here at Timmerman across the country. This one scheduled to close April 21st. Now there's a delay until June 15th because of numerous lawsuits filed against the FAA. And that is welcome news to people here. A beautiful flying day at Timmerman. And beautiful news some say will keep a layer of safety in place a bit longer. I think the, the FAA made the right decision to put this off. It, it always seemed really rushed. Dan Gerard is with Grand Air, which runs many services at Milwaukee County's Timmerman Airport. He's been running seminars now for pilots on what to do if and when the air traffic control tower closes. Pilots would rely heavily on radio transmissions to communicate with each other. It can be done safely, but pilots say a control tower is a big benefit. Having a control tower streamlines the traffic flow in and out of the area, and not only does it make it safer for pilots, but it makes it uh, less obvious, you know, that we're here for the neighbors. Or, you know, airplanes are able to fly straight in more, and it minimizes, you know, pilots circling the airport and flying over people's houses. Those who are in contracted control towers like the one here at Timmerman are looking towards the delay as some time to possibly work out long-term solutions to the funding crisis and stop the closures. Things will still happen, you know, safely. It just won't be as safe. Okay, so you don't fly. Here's an anecdote that might make you care even more. About 2011, September, the guys in the traffic control tower told me that two planes were headed for each other, flying over Mayfair Mall. However, they were able to make radio contact with one of the pilots who took evasive action. Reporting live at Timmerman, Myra Sanchik, Fox 6 News. Like you said in your story, it can be a huge benefit. That's the example or the proof right there. Myra, thanks. You know when these close, we are going to hear multiple, multiple stories.